जय जय श्री राधे सभी वैष्णव को सप्रेम सादर जय श्री कृष्ण डे वन वन सिक्स ऑफ कृष्ण दास वार्ता नंबर एटी फोर आउट ऑफ एटी फोर स्टार्टिंग विथ पार्ट सेवन कंटिन्यूड In Sri Govardhan Nachi's temple, there was a window that looked out over Parasoli, and Sri Govardhan Nachi would come to that window and allow Sri Gosaiji to have his holy sight from there. Sri Gosaiji spent the whole day in Parasoli, looking towards the window. When Krishna Das went down from the mountain, the Lord would come and sit there. One day, when Krishna Das was in Anur, he espied the Lord sitting at that window. The next morning, Krishna Das had the window sealed up and said to Sri Govardhan Nachi. I have banned Sri Gosaiji from having your sight, so why did you sit at that window? And you will not go to see him over there in Parasoli either. Krishna Das would then not allow the Lord to go to play in the direction of Parasoli. Sri Gosaiji, sitting over there, wrote notes expressing his separation, now gathered into a text named Vigyapti or Communique. Ramdas, the head priest at Sri Nachi's temple, used to go to Sri Gosaiji after the completion of the morning services in order to give him the prashadi water in which the Lord's feet had been washed. Sri Gosaiji would hide the notes inside the flower garlands that he prepared for the beloved, and Ramdas would take them and put them round Sri Nachi's neck, from which he would take them out, and then read them. When he had read them, the Lord would write a reply to each one by writing with his saliva, which was coloured from his chewing the palm leaves, and he used palm leaves on which to write these replies. These he would give to Ramdas, who would then deliver them to Sri Gosaiji. The next day, after the morning services were completed, Sri Gosaiji read them and then soaked them in water and drank them. This is why the shlokas written by Sri Nachi would not have been revealed to the world. The notes that Sri Gosaiji wrote. Those Sri Nachi gave to Ramdas after reading them. He preserved them, and hence they are available to read. One day, when he was experiencing particularly strong pangs of separation from the Lord, Sri Gosaiji wrote, "Without your sight, although I am still alive, my life is as empty as that of the young, unlucky young girl whose husband has died." He sent this verse, telling Sri Nachi that his life seemed to be so worthless, as if he was not able to see his beloved, like the unfortunate widow. When Sri Nachi read this, he wrote back that everyone knows that the nature of a cloud is to drop its water at the right time in the right season, indicating that when the time was up for Sri Krishna Das, for Krishna Das, then Sri Gosaiji and he would be able to meet. You know this, and I know this. Therefore, be patient. Let the right time come, and why suffer so much separation? Ram Das brought this letter to Sri Gosaiji, and Sri Gosaiji replied that this thus: It is the nature of a cloud. To release its water at the right time, even so, the chartika bird still pitiably cries out. This is for certain. The nature of the cloud is that it will certainly drop its water, but only when the right time comes. However, the chartika bird still has so much love. For the cloud that it waits patiently. In the same way, the Lord will meet the devotee when the time is right, but the devotee, in the depths of love, still calls out for him and finds no satisfaction anywhere, elsewhere. The right time will come when you decide. This I know, but I still have no patient patience. The devotee's true path is to always long for you, like the chartika bird. This is what Shri Gosaiji wrote and sent. Ramdas did visit Sri Gosaiji regularly, as did his other disciples and servants of the temple. Krishna Das was aware of this, but he could not say anything to them. He did reprimand Ramdas, saying that he knew that he was carrying letters to and fro between Sri Gosaiji and the Lord, and this was not allowed. Ramdas, however, replied, "I will most certainly continue to go to see Sri Gosaiji, whether you allow me to continue in my position or not." Krishna Das. Was or silent? Why? Because he knew that he would never be able to find another person like Ramdas to serve the Lord, so he said nothing. Sri Gosaiji suffered this distance from the Lord from the third day of the bright half of the month of Poush until the fifth day of the bright half of the month of Ashad. It was on this date, Ashad Shudi Panchmi, the fifth day of the bright half of the month of Ashad, that Raja Birbal came to Gokul. 
Sri Gosanji was, of course, in Parasoli at that time. Only Sri Giridhari was at home. Birbal approached Sri Giridharji and after bowing to him and asked him where he could find Sri Gosanji. It's a very long time since I have seen him, he said. Sri Giridharji informed Birbal Raja that Sri Gosanji was staying in Parasoli, that Krishna Das, the manager, had banned him from seeing Srinaji and that he had been suffering in this way for six months. Raja Birbal spoke up. I will immediately go and throw Krishna Das out of the service. He came to Mathura, gathered five hundred of his soldiers and told them to go to Govardhan to arrest Krishna Das. The men left and arrived in Govardhan in the evening. They arrested Krishna Das and took him to Mathura. Birbal sent some of his men in the middle of the night to Gokul, where they gave the information that Krishna Das had been arrested and put in jail and that they should go to fetch Sri Gosaiji and take him back into Sri Govardhan Nadji's temple. The soldiers went and informed Sri Gurdjie that Sri Gosaiji was to be reinstated and even though it was the middle of the night, Sri Gurdjie got on his horse and rode to Parasoli. The next day was Ashad Shudi 6, the sixth day of the bright half of the month of Ashad. Sri Gurdjie respectfully greeted Sri Gosaiji and suggested that he go to the temple and adorn the Lord amongst other sabers. Sri Gosaiji said that he should go only if Krishna Das gave his permission. Sri Giridharji told Sri Gosaiji that Krishna Das was in jail in Mathura. Hearing this, Sri Gosaiji was most dismayed and bemoaned, Oh, no, no, it is not right that such a great recipient of Sri Acharya's grace should be suffering so many difficulties. Sri Gosaiji asked Giridharji if he had requested Birbal to do this, but Sri Giridharji replied that he has simply told the Raja that Krishna Das had banned him from the temple and nothing more. Sri Gosaiji insisted that he would not eat until Krishna Das came back from there. Hearing this, Sri Giridharji immediately got on his horse and rode to Mathura and went to Raja Birbal to tell him that Sri Gosaiji would not eat until Krishna Das returned there. Please let him go now, he requested. Raja Birbal then called for Krishna Das to be released from the jail and said to him, See how much compassion Sri Gosaiji has for you, that he will not even eat without you, even though you caused all this to happen to him. Therefore, I am now releasing you, but if you ever give Sri Gosaiji such trouble again, I will never let you go. Raja Birbal then released Krishna Das into Sri Giridharji's care, and Sri Giridharji took him to Parasoli. When Krishna Das arrived there, Sri Gosaiji stood up to greet him with the respect due to Sri Nachi's manager. Krishna Das humbly prostrated at Sri Gosaiji's feet and touched his feet before singing this poem. Rag Saranga, I bow only to those who love the foot dust of the son of Sri Vallabh. What do I need to have to do with anyone else, whatever their high position? Those who see a difference between Sri Vritanaji and Sri Giridharji are severely confused and their association is like deadly poison and needs to be avoided. Anyone with any intelligence should never forget this. Sri Gosaiji has churned the Vedas, wrung them out and distracted their vital essence, the butter, in the form of very natural love for the Supreme Lord. I have witnessed his great power with my own eyes. It is the innermost essence of every embodied soul which cannot be extricated, just as water cannot be divided. The poet Krishna Das sings, I was once saintly but became demonical. Now I am again of purified heart, just by the touch of his feet. Part 7 continued. Sri Gosaiji was very happy to hear this composition. Krishna Das then requested him, O oh, Maharaj, please forgive my offences and please now re-enter Sri Govardhan Nachi's Seva. Sri Gosaiji replied, Now that I have your permission, I shall go. The two of them went to, up to the temple together. There they prostrated before the Lord. It was time for the Lord's adornment and since it was the sixth day of the bright half of the month of Ashad, they dressed him up all in deep pink with a frilled turban and a fancy scarf. They completed the whole day's services up to the nighttime arti. Then Sri Gosaiji, in front of Sri Nachi, put a shawl around Sri Krishna Das's soldiers and gave him the benediction. Please continue to manage Sri Govardhandara's temple affairs. Blessings be yours. Krishna Das burst into song. This son of Sri Vallabh is most compassionate, for he has blessed me with his hand on my head. Those who follow the path of grace have come into his shelter. And come into his shelter, he delivers to Sri Govardhan Naji. He is so generous, a skilful grantor of all wishes, whose association delivers one from the worldly flow of repeated birth and death. Krishna Das, the poet, now states that his everything is perfected for the one who even just knows Sri Vitan Naji. That was Rag Kanharo. Part 7 continued. 
After singing this to Sri Gosaiji, Krishnadas implored him to forgive his offensive behaviour. Sri Gosaiji replied that Sri Naji would forgive him. When the Lord Seva closed for the night, Sri Gosaiji told everyone the news that he was back and all the temple servants and the Vaishnavas were delighted. Sri Gosaiji settled back into Sri Naji's Seva just as before. Krishna Das continued on as the manager and Krishna Das had the full benediction of Sri Acharya Ji. For today we conclude the Vartha Ji here. Tomorrow we will continue. Jai Shri Krishna Sabvaishnavanku Sadar Hardik Jai Shri Krishna Shri Valabhadi Shaki Jai 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 Shri Radhe